Hi. Today I'm going to show you how I make fire with a fire bow. Uh, if you take note of this bow, the string is very slack. This is because my first attempt, the, uh, the string that I'd had on there for uh, 20 years or so, it broke. Um, I use I use a leather a leather thong or animal skin when I can, especially as this was one that I was uh, using to teach with. Um, there's no point in using uh, plant fibre cordage and having to replace it every time. Um, but plant fibre cordage does work. Uh, I had trouble with this one. It was tight when I started, and as soon as I started to uh, to use it, the leather stretched and went slack, and I had a bit of a problem with it slipping down the uh, down the drill bit, and I had to retighten it. But I haven't uh, taken anything out. You'll see um, on the video exactly what happened, and. Uh, yeah, I still made fire. I, uh, I didn't want to stop the fire making process so I simply tightened the, uh, tightened the leather thong with my hand as I was going and um, finished the job. Uh, the materials I use for the fireboard and for the drill bit are uh, stems from the grass tree that grows in Australia. It grows in every state in Australia in various forms so it's not hard to find. Um, sometimes called uh, kangaroo tail, black boy and it's also known as yakka. Now in America there's a similar plant which is called yucca which can also be used for making fire. The, uh, I don't bother flattening the bottom, I only flatten the top of the stem um, and uh, in, a, in a primitive situation I do that by simply rubbing it on a rock. This rock here I use for starting the hole for the drill bit and the edge of the rock is used for cutting the groove. give you a closer look at that. There you can see the groove and the hole and the top that's been flattened off. Okay. This is the drill bit after it was used. This is the end that goes in the bearing. So I don't take off too much of the outer skin of the stem but the part that goes into the actual fireboard the skin is trimmed back considerably more back here okay so there's only the soft center now people ask me about various timbers to use should it be a, a hard fireboard and a soft drill bit and vice versa. Well both these of course are of the same same wood, same plant material and they're both soft okay which to my mind works a lot faster. The hardest part to find is the bearing. I had a good bearing that I, I broke off at the side of a rotten log and uh, I chipped the, chipped the centre out just a few pieces that were in the way it was a great bearing, um, but it got taken out of my uh, my teaching kit, out of my suitcase, and I haven't bothered to get another one, go looking for another one since. So I made this one. Um, you'll note that I uh, inside the bearing I uh, rubbed some eucalyptus leaves. Um, that was just to to grease it up, make it slippery, and make the uh, makes the drill bit spin in it a lot easier. 
this actual drill bit isn't dead straight, um, but I needed the length and I didn't want to shorten it, so I tried it as it was, and you can see it's a bit wobbly in the film, but it did work. This is the tinderboard. Okay, and you'll note that I put the fireboard on top of the tinderboard, and that's to uh, to catch the tinder dust that comes from the fireboard. Now, the one other thing that I do, which is probably slightly different to what other people do in this process, is that I use tinder. I transfer the ember from the tinder dust on the tinder board to the tinder. Now the tinder can be anything. This is um, Rivardinia cretacea, which is a bracket fungi, which is very good. You can even break off a piece of the stem itself from the uh, fireboard at the end, um, split it open, take out the inner core, and that can be used as tinder as well. But the idea is to transfer that ember to a larger piece of tinder as soon as you can. Now you'll probably note in the in the video that I don't have a great amount of uh, of smouldering tinder dust. I didn't need much because I, I immediately touch it to the other tinder, or put the other tinder to it, and it takes and this gives me um, a much bigger ember. It also means that I can't lose it once I've got it. If my breathing is heavy, I don't blow it off the board and lose it. Okay? I've got it, and I've, I can, uh, I've got plenty of time. Once I've got the ember going in another piece of tinder, I've got it. It gives me a much bigger ember, and it makes it much easier to make fire. So, uh, I'll show you how I did it.